Hi, it's Kelly, and I just uh, got done reading the really long uh, manual for instructions for using this Ring TMS device, and I'm about to try it for the first time. Uh, something that is of note is there are a lot of warnings and precautions, so uh, it's something that I have to make sure that I don't have any sort of implants or metal in my body, no neural stimulators. Uh, no pacemakers, and that I make sure that I stay two feet away from people when I do it. There's a lot, a lot of things. Even, actually, this was given to me by my uh, doctor. It's a checklist to make sure that there's nothing in my body that could be harmful um, so that when I get receive the pulse from the device that I won't get harmed. Um, it's also, they tell you, like, if you have of conditions such as epilepsy that you cannot use this device. If you have a cochlear implant, you cannot use it. Um, and so there's a lot of things too about being making sure you're two feet away from a lot of different devices such as cell phones or um, you know uh, all those types of things like um, golly my brain is going blank computers and um, golly any type of device digital cameras uh, wireless network routers cordless telephones uh, MP3 players, just really anything is really, that's electronic, keep it away, <laughs> at least two feet. So that's what I'm going to have to make sure I do. And um, it, obviously I can't have it around water. And I did charge it. There is a uh, charge here that I put the, um, the cord into and I charged it up to uh, be a fully charged device. So I'm really excited. Um, basically what I do is there is a SIM card in here, which is the prescription card, and it allows the unit to work for as long as the prescription is. So my prescription is three months, so it allows me to use it for three months. It's not based on how many um, pulses I deliver to myself, it's based on time. So the way that I would do it is that I would put the um, device like this in my hands. As you can see, there's these little triggers right here. Um, I would first push the plus button here on the device, uh, which is right there, and it will charge itself up and basically get ready to deliver the pulse. And then it'll say it's ready to deliver the pulse, and then what I will do is I'll go ahead and put it to the back of my head right here. It kind of fits there, and um, it's really important not to deliver the pulse anywhere, like here or in front of my neck or in the back of my neck because it could be really dangerous. So I make sure I'm in the cradle of my neck and then I would pull the trigger for two uh, seconds and then I would um, let the let it um, deliver the pulse. It's supposed to be like a thump and um, I'm really kind of nervous about it actually. I'm, I've got a headache so I, I don't want it, it to worsen my headache because it's supposed to be very loud. So I'm gonna allow my husband to tape for the first time I use it here. Um, of course, as I say again, I am uh, just a patient. And if you have any questions, please ask your doctor. And uh, I, anything that I say here is not intended to be taken as medical advice. It's just one patient's experience. And I'm hoping to share that so that other people can uh, find out if, uh, just see what my experience is really. I think it's a really neat device and um, hopefully, um, yeah, things will go well. So I'll let you know how it goes and uh, here we go. <laughs>